Polyguard's term barrier system has received ICC Evaluation Report ESR 3632. The report specifically covers application on ICF as a foundation barrier. This video shows how to apply a term water termite barrier on an ICF foundation wall. The term foundation barrier is a non-structural barrier which blocks water, termites, and other insects. Here's a list of the materials you will need. Term foundation barrier, preformed corner boots for inside and outside corners, Polyguard 650 WB liquid adhesive, term flashing barrier, Polyguard 650 mastic, term termite sealant, and Polyflow 15P. The tools and supplies needed are a measuring tape, a utility knife, a hard wall roller, a lamb's wool roller, and caulking gun to apply Polyguard 650 mastic. Here's an overview of the installation steps. Prep the surface, detail the surface, prime the surface, install the barrier, seal penetrations, install drain board. Temperature should be above freezing and rising. Surfaces should be clean, smooth, and dry. Check the condition of the wall and the concrete footer. Remove any debris, clean the ICF walls and the concrete footer. Remember that dust and dirt on the wall and footer will kill the adhesive properties of the systems. Any cracks or seams greater than 1 8 inch should be sealed. Step 2. For detailing, apply Polyguard 650 WB liquid adhesive to any surfaces where corner boots or term flashing will be installed. Install corner boots on inside and outside corners. For an inside corner boot, remove the peel-off release liner from each section just before you install it. An inside corner boot is designed for corners at the intersection of the footer and ICF wall. The outside corner boot is designed for outside corners of the concrete footer. Continue detailing. Cut the term flashing to length and install flashing where the ICF wall meets the concrete footer. Remove the release liner by folding back the release liner along the length of the flashing and exposing the sealant. That portion of the flashing is then applied to the ICF foundation wall. Once the flashing has been adhered to the ICF wall, the release liner can be pulled away from the lower portion of the flashing and the flashing adhered to the concrete footer. Now roll the flashing firmly into the ICF wall and the concrete footer using the hard surface roller. Overlap by a minimum 2 inches wherever needed. Prime the overlap area with Polyguard 650 WB liquid adhesive. A second layer of flashing should also be placed over any wall penetrations. To prime the surface area, apply Polyguard 650 WB liquid adhesive to all surfaces which will receive the term foundation barrier. Allow the primer to cure until it is tacky. This is usually 20 to 30 minutes. Also apply Polyguard 650 WB liquid adhesive to the concrete footer, corner boots, and flashing which were applied earlier. Begin the installation of the term foundation barrier by pulling the release liner away from the top few inches of the term foundation barrier and apply to the ICF wall. Continue applying down the wall, pulling the release liner off and adhering the term foundation barrier to the wall as you go down. Overlap the side seams onto the previous course by 2 inches as you go down. Side seams should then be rolled firmly using the hard surface roller to ensure integrity of the seal. Continue the application onto the horizontal concrete footer and over the footer. If term under slab barrier has been previously installed under the slab and up the outside of the concrete footer, the term foundation barrier must tie in 100% to the term under slab coming up the outside of the footer. After installation of the term foundation barrier, all seams, both vertical and horizontal, should be detailed with Polyguard 650 mastic. Polyguard 650 mastic should also be applied wherever there are penetrations in the ICF wall. Polyguard drainage mat should also be installed over the term foundation barrier. The drainage mat will provide wall drainage, physical protection, and UV protection to the term barrier materials underneath. Shown here is Polyflow 15P. During installation, adhesive should be used to adhere the drain mat. Use Polyguard 650LT or California Sealant Liquid Adhesive or a commercial construction adhesive. Thank you for watching this video.